Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online guide where in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the submarine guided missiles. These are of course the controllable missiles that can be launched directly from inside your submarine. So these things are pretty darn overpowered. With the help of a friend, it's possible to have the submarine surface, have someone fire off a missile only for the submarine to then immediately submerge, keeping the occupants inside hidden from radar. This makes the submarine guided missiles a very overpowered defensive form of attack. So I figure it's probably best that we do some research on the weapon system to see what it's capable of and what weaknesses it may have, and the results are surprising, so let's get right to it. Submarine missiles will set you back the base price of a submarine plus the price of the guided missiles add-on which will set you back about 4.1 million dollars. That is if this is all you're going to buy. After which there is zero further payments that you have to make whenever you want to use this thing besides the insurance cost of blowing up tryhards on oppressor mark 2s. The guided missiles take one minute to reload upon getting blown up, but with the use of two gunners at once having separate cooldown timers, your rate of fire can effectively be doubled. Missiles that are fired from the submarine will launch upwards and level out forwards in the direction of the submarine's bow. So if you want to have a more rapid deployment of missiles to their intended destination, you might want to consider pointing the Kosaka submarine in the direction that you want it to fire. Not that it matters too much, as the missile's handling during flight makes it very speedy to turn around while in flight, at least on PC Master Race. On consoles, the turning rate is rather limited, and fine-tuning the aim sensitivity in the options menu doesn't seem to make any difference to the cornering performance of the missiles. Oh well. The speed of the missile, while relatively fast enough for most use cases, is actually slightly slower than the likes of a Hydra in a straight line. As you can see here, it's more than easy enough to outrun a guided missile that is chasing me, and I even had the time to turn around and fire back at the missile to blow it up. The guided missile can fly relatively far away from the submarine that it was fired from. Upon going out of range, the missile will explode. Knowing this, it will be important to consider your maximum operating distance of the missile if you have a target in mind. Not only can Hydra shoot out the missiles, but small arms fire will also suffice for the defensive job of shooting them down. Anything from rifles to miniguns will easily stop a missile in its tracks. Interestingly, the explosive sniper will not take down a missile for some reason. You can clearly hear the explosion sound effect of me hitting the missile, but as you can see, the missile is still happily travelling along. Shooting down the missile is relatively easy if you see it coming before it's too late, as the time to react to a missile heading towards you, you hearing it coming, equipping a weapon, turning around to aim at the missile and then shooting it down is very, very small. Missiles give off a very distinctive sound effect, almost like a tire screeching sound, which is rather funny, considering that one time a missile flew right past me, but the latency between me and the player caused it to pause in midair, and it gave off a tire screeching sound effect, leading to a very funny cartoony moment. The damage of the missile is very high, much higher than the likes of a standard homing missile from what I've seen. It'll take about 4 hits from these things to take an insurgent out, and 3 hits on a juggernaut. Needless to say, pretty much no aircraft is going to survive being hit by one of these things if the missile manages to catch up to them. Your only chance of escape would be if you're in a plane or on the console version of the game where the missile has very limited movement. The missiles are immune to yacht defences on a yacht, so anyone who wants to have a jacuzzi party is now going to have to do it in an invite-only session, or have someone keeping out for missiles at all times while everyone else enjoys a nice jacuzzi party. Overall, the guided missile from the submarine is a very powerful weapon, but it does have some flaws, probably for balance purposes. If you drive around in an armoured vehicle like the Insurgent, or are just always vigilant about your surroundings, you can defend yourselves from these things with relative ease. But what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think about these guided missiles in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to press all the buttons that you see below the video. Thanks for watching, everyone.